be making bases. What's going on, YouTube? It's your man, Ever J Music, owner of Beat Making Basics, and we're back again with another video. If you are new to the channel, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you know when I'm going to post. And then also make sure you hit the like button and leave a comment if this video helps you out in any way. So in today's video, what I'm going to be talking about is how to load samples in Logic Pro 10 10.5. Okay. So, you know, our last video, we were talking about the quick sampler. I'm going to be showing you a little bit more when it comes to like, say, if you have some external drum sounds that you want to use, you don't want to use the stock stuff or whatever. You don't want to, you know, use a drum design or anything like that. You want to use some external drums. This is how you're going to be loading those in. All right. So the first thing you would want to do is you could just go over here and create a software instrument track. It could be a default patch. Make sure you have your output set at one and two and then hit create all right so after you do that what you want to do is you want to scroll down here to the actual track we can just turn this part off but go over here to the actual track and uh click right here where you would see the instrument and then scroll down to quick, quick sampler now there's two different ways you can load the samples so say if you just want to load like one sample say like a hi-hat that will be uh, mapped over the whole keyboard you would just load it into the quick sampler um, but if you say you will have like multiple drums that you want to load in you would go down here to sampler where it says multi sample so I'm gonna show you both examples so with the quick sampler I'm gonna come over here and go to stereo and now that's up and running now what you could do is you want to make sure that you have your samples like saved somewhere on your actual computer this just just case you like want to you know bring these samples back up you don't have any problems finding them so i have a photo here that's full of samples as you can see and what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to take this folder and i'm just going to drag it to the desktop all right now i got my samples right there and anytime i need to access them they're right there conveniently located so what i'll do is I'm gonna start with an actual 808 glide okay now this this 808 is actually a simple 808 but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it into a glide 808 so what I'll do is I'll just drag it in right here you can do optimized I'm gonna pull up the uh, musical keyboard and now anywhere on the keyboard where I click You know what I mean? You can see it's going to play that. Now, same rules apply as far as like manipulating this sample. First off, I'm going to come over here to my sins and I'm going to turn off this, uh, turn off both of my sins so it doesn't have the reverb on it. So same rules apply. Like if I, if I wanted to say, make this to where, um, it reversed. I can click it right there, forward right here. I can make it where it loops. And I can change, you know, where it does that at. You can do some cool stuff, you know what I mean? I can come over here and reverse it as well. So it'll play the initial sample and then we'll start doing a reverse. So you can do a lot of cool things with the sample. For me, I'm going to keep it um, keep it simple. And um, what we can do here is like if you want to make it glide, you can come over here to the glide right there. You can just do that. All right. So after that, pretty much again, what you could do is you can one shot it, which is what I would recommend on an 808. At least an 808 that you want to make glide. And then after you do that, you'll just come over here to factory default and you'll just save as. So I could just say, you know, 808 glide one. 
And now anytime I need to pull up this 808 glide sample, I'm just going to delete this and we'll just pull up another uh, track here. Go over here to the quick sampler stereo and go to factory and then scroll down and you'll see the sample that you just saved. So anytime I need to pull it up, it's right there for me. All right. So that's one way to do this. Um, same thing with hi hats. So if you want, you can come over here and uh, go to the quick sampler. And we'll come over here to our samples. Now, a cool thing here. Again, you can always turn off the sin so you don't have to have any extra reverbs or anything like that. A cool thing you could do here is you can actually drag it right into this area. So if I cl click on this actual track, I can drag it in that way as well. So I can come over here and go quick sampler original or optimized. I always use the optimized version. You can also come right over here and um, just to, a, you know, it'll create a brand new track for you. You know what I mean? So you got the drum machine designer, the quick sampler and original optimize and you have alchemy you know what i mean so but we'll just come over here to this existing track that we already created we'll do opt um, optimize and now we have this hi-hat sound in here so i can pull this right here it's already you know what i mean mapped out again with a hi-hat you want it to be like a one shot and i can come over here i can glide the hi-hat if i wanted to too no reason to necessarily but you could do something cool with it you can create like a cool hi-hat type of vibe with it you can take down you know you can just do different stuff with it even with the filter you can filter it This is based to your, you know, your liking or whatever. But um, that's pretty much it on this part. I'm gonna go ahead and save this as well. I'm just gonna save it as a um, as a regular hi hat. And now that's saved. All right, cool. So now the next thing we'll talk about is like, say, if you want to create like a, a full fledged drum kit, All right? So what you could do here is you don't have to necessarily go to just default. You can actually pick the uh, instrument here. But what we'll do now is go to this second sampler, which is the sampler multi-sample version. Okay, so we'll go to stereo. Make sure your output is on one and two. Right device, click there. And then you can just either open it up this way and click on zone. You can drag them in here or you can go to mapping. But I would recommend going into zone and then you're just going to go over here to your uh, your samples. You can click on the beginning sample that you want and scroll down and hold down shift and it will select everything that you want. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take these and drag them in here on a zone. And now everything is mapped in from C1 all the way on up. So if I played right here. That's a kick. I got all my kicks right here and even all my snares. So let's say that you want to continue the process, right? You want to keep on putting some more um, drums in. So what you could do is you could just come over here and go back to your samples and like man all right say you want these claps in you know what I mean you could do the same process where you're clicking the first one that you want and holding down shift and then clicking that last one 
and you're just going to drag them on in. All right. And this time I just drag drug it into the uh, into the mapping zone of the mapping part of it instead of the zone. And the reason why I did that is because it, was, it wasn't a whole lot of samples and then I can like kind of actually see where those are. All right, so you got all these different options here. Now you can come over here, you can change the, you know, how the sound of each sample sounds if you want to. I'm actually gonna leave it dry, but um, that's pretty much it, you know what I mean? Um, you can come over here, affect the pitch, um, affect the filter, you know, filter out the different um, EQs and stuff like that, or different frequencies, different things like that, man, you know, just to really, um, get a, you know a unique sound um, so that's pretty much that I mean you can come over here to the ve velocity to change that I mean there's a lot of different things that you could do on this um, but overall what you would want to do now is just go ahead and go up to the factory default and click on save as and you can just name this like trap kit or whatever you know what I mean and now Whenever I want to pull up this kit to start creating, I can come over here to software instrument, scroll down to this sampler, the multi sample one, stereo, plus create, click on it, and then I will go over here to factory default, and you can see my uh, trap kit is right here. And so if I pull my keyboard up here, And keep in mind, like I said, you can come over here and, and modify this and resave it, whatever you want to do. You know what I mean? It, you know, I, I really like the the new changes that they made to Logic Pro 10. And I feel like they gave you a whole lot more options. You know, they have some editing features here. You can retune it. You, you can crop the sample. You know what I'm saying? You can so much you can do. And if you want it to one shot. You have to one shot it by clicking on each individual one. But that's that, man. And, and like, if you want to resave it, you can save it and it will save it with the new changes. But I appreciate y'all watching, man. Make sure you go ahead and like and comment on the video and I'll see you in the next one. All right. Peace.